The one who financed the uh, entire psychiatric case against me, the one, the big one who was behind it all, uh, the one who financed Slovenian police, the one who financed Slovenian psychiatry, the one who was obsessed in getting me murdered through the psychiatry, was a Prince Charles, now King Charles. Just a little earlier I published something by coincidence I have found on the internet. We'll get to this issue. It's this picture here. Under this picture in black that you see right there, it's Donald Trump is posing, and you must all agree and admit and recognize that in the history of the internet, ever, we have never seen as many black background photos of Donald Trump, Prince, King, Charles, Ooh. Joe Biden and all other clowns that I mentioned on my website. You have to agree, you have to admit that since my father went to the hospital in 2022, what they published was Last Father is Day. We have never ever seen in the history of the internet the flood of the pictures from all walks of life royal life top politicians with pictures with a black black with a black background never ever we have seen it ever we have seen these pictures all over the internet they flooded the internet with it we have seen this garbage all over the internet with the internet literally flooded with it with the internet literally flooded with it. But these are the pictures I was told when you see pictures like this or and when you see pictures like this When you see them in the limousine, yeah, it always would significate death. The departure from the scene, uh, feel sorry for me. This, it's over. That's it. This I heard from I don't know how many people. When you see this, it's over. For me, it's over. You know, I'm gone. And this shit started with this. She was the first one who employed this kind of garbage in MK Ultra. Again, this was Thailand who was tragic. All the time they were tragic. Black pictures and the limousines, they cried to me. When you see this, it's over. It's over. They will remove me. They will remove me. They will remove me. It was, they will remove me. She was the one who started with this stuff first. I should say they were the ones they started with this stuff first. She started with this stuff. Close to 20 years ago. She started with this stuff in 2008. After some really, really, really bad stuff that she had done. She was the starter of this type of stuff. 20 years ago. 
All right, 16 years ago, she was the first one. She was an icebreaker when it comes to this. See this? She was an icebreaker. She was the one and only one with this. When you see this, and you see this. And uh, it didn't stop there. Uh, it was her sister that joined her inside of the car. Uh, both supposedly had affection for me. And the photos they posed with were photos like... This was like, we're going to do the, the one in the car. And that was translated to me, the photo in, in the car. That was like the end of it. That was like the end of it. I got really upset. No, I got angry today when I saw this picture appearing on the internet. When I saw this, I got angry when I saw this. You know what this is? It started with the Princess Bairakiti Abba. And it went on to do exactly identical stuff. The next one who smelled this was a King Charles. The next one who smelled this was, I'm not going to say my father, but a Slovenian side started to present the issue, what you see here, behind the father is future hospitalization at a hospital and then at home for elderly people. And they use this for the terror when it comes to the father since 2010. Just two years later was a Prince Charles who smelled this scumbaggery. And the second one that I started to brainwash with death of my father was Slovenian psychiatrist and police. At least this is what I thought it was. But the thing is that this scumbag right there that you see, this so-called king, was the one who financed psychiatry. He was the main engine, the main power engine, the one who empowered police, paid money for the corruption to the Slovenian parliament, finance extermination, genocide procedure against me through psychiatry. It all started... I would love to hate, but it all started when I was one year old. I will explain to you how that's done. Why? What I'm going to explain to you today is what a criminal charges are going to be based, what kind of lawsuit you're going to face, based on what the lawsuit you're going to face with is going to be based upon. That's what I'm trying to say. I got so angry when I saw this picture from Donald Trump. Uh, why did I get so angry? Well, my mother claimed to have sprinkled the uh, ankle. That's what she claims. I had her at the doctor's. Today is the 27th, yesterday the 25th was Tuesday. On Tuesday, I took her to the hospital and uh, they, they wrapped her in a Mavitz, I don't know how you say that, gypsum, gypsum. Foot. like this 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 is what they did except it's white color it's like this So, my mom is now no longer going to visit the father. 
I no longer even visit the father since he made an incident at the home for elderly people with which he attempted number one to break my spine, damage my spine further uh, and uh, number two um, irritated, angered, maddened based on MK Ultra scenario I no longer visit father he did go too far for me I don't do that I'm not bipolar when I make decision I stick firmly to it I don't twist I don't change pulse when I make the decision I stick to it I stay firm ground to this decision whatever I stated in respect to father it will happen I will follow through till I get him behind bars that was a promise this is the promise we're gonna go through that's it my father was a tool in the hands of garbage the garbage that you see right there was the one who financed Slovenian police this is another criminal next to Joe Biden I'm not gonna say that he expressed today the solidarity through the mainstream media as to what American government is doing they do the same thing as the British and others they're posing with this black background pictures it was nothing other since 2008 other than about how my father will be killed inside of the hospital or inside of the home for elderly people if I will not continue to visit one if I will not continue to pay attention to one and play game with a sanity as to if your father will try to tell you he will try to do this but he will not allow him and he no longer will visit him and during his visits bestiality which psychiatrists corruption and Slovenian police performed inside the general hospital with the hospital staff physicians nurses at the home for elderly people the same thing with nurses physicians and who knows how many people whom they have used as a uh, MKUltra staff whenever they would hijack me in a hospital at home for elderly people in Novomesto father was the one who took initiative in schizophrenia in a bipolar disorder for what they believe they're gonna develop on me he was the one who acknowledged himself even as an instructor as a police instructor somebody whom police at least this is what they suggested me not only to him I don't know how much he had seen himself in that role but I acknowledged one during MK Ultra is a total bastard I could not actually I did not acknowledge one as a total bastard because I didn't have the proof that it was the father the one who actually was doing this stuff I doubted about absolutely everything I doubted that it was my father who went on and was used for all kinds of issues the thing is that it was enough that he felt that he was doing something useful for the society, for the benefit of the people, for the other people, the police, physicians, nurses that were involved in this, the so-called friends, what he saw as the friends that were coming inside of the house. To have gone and sacrificed himself, looked to the stroke. I don't see one anymore as a victim of the system that it would be the system that would do something to him I see him as a maniac as a psychopath as a lunatic who deranged lunatic who sacrificed himself for the benefit of crime extermination procedure against me for which he hoped it would take place some way somehow it would go through enough to get rid of me the same way as to what he had done in 2012 when he went to the police department and together with the family other family members such as my niece such as my sister I don't know what mother had to say 
submit claim that I engaged in a violence at home. Identical stuff. Because I got really, really pissed off today when I saw another picture of this scumbag with mother having a sprinkled ankle, broken foot, if you like, whatever, ankle. No longer being capable to visit father, therefore. The phone, the telephone which ringed earlier this morning suggesting my mama that it will be okay to stop at a physician's probably already by you know if you're next month uh, third that will be in just six days from now opposed to what my mother first have claimed me will have an appointment as a next appointment would be next month on 17. That will be over three weeks from when she uh, had a problem with the, uh, or maybe even the 21st next month, 21st next month. And according to MK Ultra, because the incident my mother is talking about have taken place back in the distant uh, 2014 well look at me here motherfuckers look at me my mother spring sprinkled her ankle in 2014 in 2014 she sprinkled ankle she end up with the gypsum they made me disappear <laughs> I don't know for how long they had me in hands that doesn't even matter actually in 2013 to be exact doesn't doesn't even fucking matter for how long they had me in the hands because they threw me into the psychiatric hospital so I had no fucking way to come home and see what the fuck is going on anyways you see it doesn't matter uh, how the fuck it doesn't matter well <laughs> uh, see it motherfuckers I was guilty for everything that is broken inside of the house, including this chair. When it was, in fact, in 2013, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, who went on to have this chair broken, and I think also other chairs. They started to break chairs. Why the fuck would they do this? In 2013, I was thrown into a psychiatric hospital. They do this stuff so they could mount toilet here. And the mama could use chair instead of the toilet. She used this shit here. It's a fucking portable toilet. Because she couldn't walk to the restroom. The thing is, however, that I was yelled, screaming at compared to the animal. Compared to the animal, you motherfuckers! For breaking everything inside of the house. I was inside of the psychiatric hospital, delivered home, tortured here inside home. Watch my mother and psychiatrist Peter Koch, how of great use he was. Watch Robert, Slovenian Prime Minister Robert Golop going inside of the home for elderly people, hospital, whatever, he got the wheelchair for her. But the wheelchair was too fucking big. So the next wheelchair that got to the home was from the neighbor, from the Igor Kotor, the Renan Ultra, who got one. Do you understand what kind of swinery this is? Do you understand the meaning of the violence, what the fuck I was paying for, and what the fuck I was accused of? I'm 52 years old, and why the fuck my life was erased? You getting it? You getting? Are you getting the meaning of the paranoid schizophrenia and who the violent here is? Eat.
it depends. It depends how you're going to behave. And I said to my mom, what the fuck you mean by this, how you're going to behave? It depends what? Well, if you will behave okay, they are going to let me earlier to put the gypsum off my feet. If you're not going to behave. Therefore, the accident that she had in 2013 never happened. It never happened. Because it was supposed to happen in the future. Because it's a paranoid schizophrenia. And the paranoid schizophrenia you get when they throw you inside the psychiatric hospital claiming that you have a paranoid schizophrenia. You don't get the paranoid schizophrenia earlier according to this logic. According to this fucking logic. So as I was thrown inside a psychiatric hospital, police started to grow a paranoid schizophrenia at home. Paranoid schizophrenia is grown through the fake medical examinations, through the fake x-rays. As soon as, it doesn't matter if it happened to you, walk inside of the hospital, if you have a victim, it's the moment in the future that you go and you x-ray yourself, and it's that stuff, that scan that is um, timestamp on it from the day that it did took place. That's called the paranoid schizophrenia. This is how the paranoid schizophrenia works in this place. In, in this case. So, how the fuck would I not be angry about this stuff? You know, I have 52 years of life erased, destroyed, wiped out, deleted, so that you can fuck with this kind of stuff? My mama stayed during NK Ultra. It depends on you how you treat me. If you cook good, if you do this, if you do that, in the worst case scenario, the two things are going to happen. One, it could be that the gypsum, they're going to prolong even further. It can even happen that they will eventually go and break me ankle to prove the point. And number two, they can even make me go inside of the home for elderly people and you're not going to have the money to pay for yourself. This is how MKUltra works. This is how MKUltra operated in this case. So I don't think I possibly could happy about this violence, this degree of violence, police violence. Uh, police instructed me that when I go to with the mama at the general hospital when she's going to be doing the x-raying to make sure to look for a novlian on a paper on a paperwork because that's supposed to be I don't give a who fuck about uh, they talked about something novlian where they broke my teeth also where they help police also break my teeth uh, I don't know uh, her husband or her brother listen I don't give a three fuck about this I don't care I don't care about it because I got more important stuff to do Novlian is not going to pay for what has happened to me at age one it does not work like this he is not fucking paying for this stuff you're not fucking paying for the stuff that happened to me at age three you're not paying to me for the stuff that pulled the violence of the entire world against me you're not fucking, Slovenian police, you're not fucking paying for anything. You're making things difficult. And you're making things difficult under increasingly difficult health circumstances. You're delaying, you're postponing, you're dragging, and you're causing more and more and more problems. And for that reason, I have no, no reason to embrace any of your logic. Because it doesn't make any fucking sense. You did not help. You make things more than beyond impossible for your British royals in London who paid you the money for this stuff. They financed you. Which is extremely convenient for Milan Kuchan since you celebrated the day of your independence and all this. It's extremely convenient for your politicians. You want to say no if they get the godfather of the genocide from London. It's better than fucking Moscow. I'm not even talking about fucking Moscow. I'm talking about the London now. If you realize that. That's warning to the British. How far the fuck your democracy. What the fuck is going on with you? 
Where the fuck is this thing going? You're seen as the ultimate evil. And you don't worry about it because your bosses, your owners, your Donald Trumps inside of the Buckingham Palace are cool with it. You're cool with this kind of stuff because it's good. Whatever is good for them is good for you. I get it. On to this picture today, and this is what prompted me. I posted this picture. See if I have one. I have one here still. I posted this picture. You see how the Donald Trump is crying? Huh? Do you see it? Do you see it, motherfuckers? Do you see it? That's what you wanted to do with me, this. But I changed my mind and instead stayed at home and identified second police officer who was involved in crime in a physical assault on me at the police station just the other day. Motherfuckers, I don't follow your rules. Your dark screen behind you, this. Like, look, see it? Fuck you, this is not even advisable to do on a camera. But I do it in this case. Why do you allow this stuff to go on? Why do you allow this kind of stuff to go on? Why do you allow this kind of stuff to go on? I'm asking about what people. I'm asking about the journalists. I'm asking Yahoo. I'm asking the people who are responsible, who cooperated, collaborated, engaged in a torture, presenting this kind of news, this kind of pictures, as death of my father and so on. Why the fuck you allow this stuff? Why do you play by the rules? You're advertising other news. You're saying Donald Trump is a Nazi. You're saying that Donald Trump is no good. You're saying this. You're saying that. But at the same time, where is the difference between Joe Biden and Donald Trump? And why is Donald Trump still there if Biden is any different? When the Biden had a million ways to arrest Donald Trump. Well, the answer is because there's no difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. One is playing good villain, the other one is playing bad villain. But in this case, the two criminals who are involved since my childhood are just the same shit. And you somehow don't want to get this. You somehow don't want to get this. So, it will benefit you? This, this stuff benefits you? How the fuck do you see it? you're going to benefit from this? Regardless of what happens to me. That's why this pictures. That's why this picture. And that's why you only see one picture of this motherfucker you see right there on the right side, on the left side right there. See that clown? You see that fuck? Do you see him? Do you know which one I mean? Look at it, good. Look at it. Because I don't mean this one. I don't mean this motherfucker. Look. See it? I don't mean this motherfucker. This is a fucking clown, isn't it? He looks ugly motherfucker, but I don't mean this. This is a psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch. You see it? Ah, I don't mean that motherfucker. I mean this one here. Look at it. This one is uglier than Kopsch. This one here looks nastier than Kopsch. You know, you know this, this motherfucker? Do you know him? Do you know who this is? If you don't know him, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to leave no doubt about who this... What do you get here in the picture? I'm actually getting more Charles now, but not much of it. Not much of it at all. Soon we're going to get to the reason why I recorded this stuff. Soon we're going to get to the reason why I recorded this stuff. 
or steer far away from it. We got this here. We get close to nothing. That's why I'm going to go ahead and I will use the history. We're going to use the history browser. I just want exactly, exactly, exactly the same uh, for all I did earlier. Okay, you can see if you put Trump clown, <coughs> yeah, and this was not the keywords I was using. I was using sad like this. Yes, these are the pictures. This is what matches what you have seen a little earlier. You see this? It's a sad clown. It's a sad clown. Sadie. Now we go here when we enter here Biden. These are the picture. This is what I used earlier. You see this here? You see this here? It's going to make you angry when you see the end of this video. You will understand why this video. It's not about, it's not about psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. Look at it. It's not about the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. You see it? This is not about the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. <laughs> it's not about the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. Only. This is about a bigger dunk. This is about a bigger clown. This is about the bigger human shit. It's about this shit here. This is about this dunk. See it? But what the fuck do you see? Huh? What is it that you see? Today I'm gonna make you see the same way that this ugly fuck made me see during MK Ultra using psychiatrists, Peter Kopsch and Slovenian police. Today I'm making you see through my eyes. What do you see? What do you see? I see cops. No, 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 no. Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch demanded from me with the king that now king, it's called the King Charles Windsor to see this as Kopsch. See it? This guy Kapsch. This guy, 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 Kapsch. Kapsch. You see it? Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. And only one picture is dedicated to the fuck who did this. And here it is. This is a Fuki. This is a story about the Fuki and Fucky. You're going to see the Fuki. And about the Fucky I already demonstrated you. I told you about the Fucky already a whole lot about the Fucky I told you. I told you about the Fucky. I told you about the fucky. Just I did not tell you about about the fucky and fucky everything. You remember when I was talking to you about the watches? Do you remember when I talked to you about the lights?
Do you remember to, when I talked to you about this issues here? This is the violence I endured about this kind of, not this watch precisely, no. But I spoke to you about the watches that have uh, different kind of spots on them. Like plenty, plenty, plenty different spots. Ladies and gentlemen, it was killing that went on inside in here. This is not an ordinary video. It was, it was bestiality. It was a butchery that went inside, inside of this house. You understand? I would not be doing this stuff if it would be for any different. Your king is an animal. This is not a human. This is an animal. This is, this is a beast. This is a total beast. I will do my best. This I give my, you my oath to destroy this individual. To destroy him. To destroy his two sons, William and Harry. I swear to God. And I give my oath to God. I will do best to perform to destroy them. Indefinitely, these people. This is what went on inside in here. I don't know what the cost is going to be. I don't know what the price is going to be. But they will not be. I don't actually even see this shit. But you know what? It looks like a camouflage. Like that you would have like, especially whatever crazy about what the dots, the dots, anything that would have with the dots, dots or different colors. This to me, this was translated to me during MK Ultra as pills. Anything, pills and the police lights. No, you do not understand what is the definition of the violence and you never would understand because you never would be capable to endure as much violence as I endured. That's where the biggest problem is. But you can take my word for it. I was a subject to MK Ultra bestiality from the age 1 all the way to 2020. That's four years back. And I'm 52. That's 49 years. And the further it went, the fucking insaner it got. More and more and more violent and crazier. The physical violence, the peak of the physical violence reached sometimes in 2014. No, actually 2000. It ended in 2015. Then it went down. They did absolutely everything to get me killed. Pills. Psychiatric pills. Say this is animal. Say you have animals over there in Britain. I can tell this is you you are you're not normal people. You're not normal, man. You're fucking sick people, man. Do you see this shit here? Do you see what the fuck it looks like? This is not an ordinary clown. This is what your king, now prince, uh, prince, now king, is using. 
for his psychiatrist to do the same thing to the other victims with a, through the psychiatry. And the only reason that you have seen only one picture of Charles under the key words King Charles Clown said is because I was told if you're gonna see me as a clown is no good it will be cops it will be cops it will be cops you see it it will be cops it will be cops it will be cops it will be cops in this picture here you're gonna is gonna be with a to remind you about the psychiatric pills so do you understand that you have an animal over there inside of there, that you have a dung that you have a human shit excrement inside of your British government do you admit that you have a dump do you have an excrement at the top of your British throne there's a human shit maniac lunatic psychopath and it was for this psychopath for this psychopath for this mentally ill fuck that you British have embraced as your emperor this here this clausula here this this here this here see it Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was using this clause to repeat to me in my face since 2000 for entire 20 years but it was always your lovely King Charles your Emperor Charles that always instigated in it and would go as far as asking me and would go as far as asking me if my psychiatrist Peter Kapsch did not explain me the issue behind this he did explain me he did explain me he did explain me I will fucking destroy you for this motherfucker I will destroy you you financed the violence against me since my early age now they have to come to the reason why you finance the violence against me since my age one do you know why you financed you motherfucker do you know why you financed you London piece of shit do you know why you financed violence against me you motherfucker you financed the violence against me you motherfucker because when I was at age 3 at age 3 I was really and I don't know which French politician it was I have to go see this stuff It was a French politician or some kind of a French military general and they wanted to get from me that I agree to something and they told me it's something very bad this was still when Josip Brosito was alive he was gone in, 80, in 1980 1981 so this must have been in 1974 I did not understood anything what the fuck they meant that if I want to give them authorization for something look on your map and you see what the fuck went on in 1974 maybe even in 1973 when it comes to colonialism I don't know was it in Africa was it in Asia was it in South America Central America maybe Caribbean I have no fucking idea Oceania I don't know what the fuck went on I didn't look into that stuff but you can bet they were using me since 1974 100% as what is known as a ground zero and I was explained ground zero is a schizophrenia what exactly is the ground zero ground zero is when you get the Russian Chinese 
and all the governments together and they agree to what is known as a ground zero then they intercommunicate with you through you and they create locations where genocide occasionally will take place extermination mass extermination and they get they can do this through this kind of game through the ground zero that means that you from you if they get approval if you are a victim if you are somebody who they're going to label in the future as a schizophrenic we'll get to this issue if you agree with it they can perform this with the permission of others they call this cover your ass system and it guarantees them because all the powers are involved in it that nobody will press charges the countries nobody's going to see the country the stuff is going to take place at the United Nations or other location I had no fucking idea what went on when I was at age 3 what they wanted from me but they soon repeated the one who was using this type of technology the most was this guy here his name was George Bush senior this was the man who was using me the most the one who used to call me uh, a Billy Bob George Bush senior however was the last one but all other presidents prior to George Bush senior everything that you see here every one of this I'm not going to be fucking with this thing I'm just going to go to this one here I met him I don't think he was dead all this stuff that you see here this all stuff this is a whole ground zero everything was a ground zero system everything was a ground zero what exactly that means in American case ground zero in American case ground zero is a job of the president is not to see what the fuck goes on what French and British were doing that was a ground zero if you got from American president ground zero that means that whatever French or British have done somewhere don't know don't hear don't see don't nothing through the media we handle the stuff it's a ground zero this ground zero expanded already before that it expanded with the Chinese with the Russians landing on the board wanting their own colonies started to desire their own ways a Soviet end of the Soviet Union was approaching they wanted their own piece of cake they wanted their own ways when the United States of America based on politic when I consider this stuff we can all agree that uh, China and Russia were as the only that existed in this world Chechnya did not Tajikistan Dagestan and many others that paid full price Croatia Bosnia barely Croatia did not they got a lion's share they share these cakes Chinese got the technology they got money they got heavy investments in it for the cost of what the Russians got through the oil through the mineral trade but he worked for all of them they worked all together they all worked fine that's ground zero from the beginning at my age three it was not a big deal 
But it was another president who told me, also French, they told me, well, uh, but now you already know what it is. That uh, previous that we did didn't matter, but now you already know what it is. And I still did not know. The stuff they told me about, the first one who enforced this stuff for me to accept was Slovenian people. There were people here, Serbs, Slovenes, that were the first enforced down my throat that I have to accept. I have to accept whatever they say. So I accepted that knowing nothing at age of three, what the fuck went on. And this shit repeated and repeated and still I would not get it because I was a child. I wouldn't get this stuff at age four and age five with this. I said yes to this stuff. I remember I was saying yes to whatever they say, yes, 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 for quite some time. And then I was told, I think at age six, that now I sure enough already know what the fuck it is, what yes means. And they compelled me to take a full responsibility for the stuff I mentioned to you. You see it in London, in Buckingham Palace. Do you see it? I will fucking get there to you, motherfuckers. Like Winston Churchill stated. I don't even know what the fuck he stated. Norman the bitches, whatever. Listen, you're gonna fucking... We will meet. You will come to the court. You will respond to this. Because this is... Let me continue with this. I explained, I pointed out what this stuff turned into through the beatings, through the violence that accompanied me through the garden, kindergarten, through the school. It was a zoo. It was not life. It was nothing other than violence. Even more violent. I don't know what was more violent. During MK Ultra, or was it more violent? Maybe I went to MK Ultra World because it was less violent. Maybe. Maybe I entered MK Ultra World willingly so because less violent because I had some kind of friends in MK Ultra World I have western people it's to a real world they only have thugs here from Slovenia violence here Serbs that's all the fuck it was and it was not children it was also adults it was offered to me as a some sort of relief from the pain from the suffering that I suffered in real life. The one who financed this was your now King Charles, as well as your slutty Queen Elizabeth and her magic Philip. Through the foreign legion, through the all kinds of military, and more than through anything bestiality performed in me throughout entire Asia, in China, in Vietnam, in Thailand, in Japan, in your fucking name at what country, no funky fucking Asian country under the sun that was not involved in it. Through entire Africa, no fucking country was left out when it comes to physical torture. Boy, I just see what this was all about. Violence, the color of people, South America, Indian people, in India also, not in South America also. Violence, 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 violence. Violence grammar school, violence high school, violence more school, violence military. Man, it seems like there was no fucking end of the violence. It seems like there was no end of the Slovenian police violence. The violence, physical violence, 
extended further into the forced unemployment, actually into the violence through what was forced unemployment. Me trying to survive, which whatever fucking way I knew, and eventually escaping to the United States in 95 at age 23. We in hope for something that I had no no way, no chance to escape. My friends from MK Ultra, funny enough, talking about American Central Intelligence Agency and Federal Bureau investigation, returned me back here, hijacked, drugged up. Now it's time for me to use the word. It's called a schizophrenia for the schizophrenia. What started here already in my childhood at home for elderly people where I was delivered for a thick off fucking person for the people handicapped facility next to home for elderly people handicapped people Milan Kuchan Josip Bros Tito they willingly went on to collaborate to cooperate with the Moscow with the Belgrade that's why I don't know why so much fucking secrecy why so much fucking secrecy when you don't when you Americans when you Germans when you British well, you French don't even recognize anybody than Russia and China on the other end. You don't, you don't fuck. You're not. You're not my friends, motherfuckers. You're not my friends. You're not my friends. You made me assume all duties and responsibilities in respect to your crimes against humanity, which colonialism brought up. Beginning my age. 11 is when you demanded from me to literally run operations it was actually even earlier 10 it was earlier I know because it alarmed it was teachers from the grammar school not a master that traveled with me abroad and observe witness French British taking advantage of the ground zero of my actually making the demands of these officers true they would not act whatever that would be even British royals in question because nobody gave them guarantee at least this is what the British royals and other elites demonstrated to their own military that the only way out is the contract they had with a Russia and with a China that's through the ground zero because otherwise you have to go to the court for the crime against humanity and you know something that started in completely subconscious through the violence to the total violence they make it actually alive in me they make it actually alive with me to the point that I was like a little Napoleon and we walk around and we started to act really like uh, go and take care and you must not lose the war here and you must not lose the war there you must crush them you must fucking do this and they did some stuff because of what they even in certain cases continued to occupy and even gain made land games gains it was just the beginning of the curse because very soon the same shit as it was a case with the Soviet Union which fall apart in 1988 in 1987 it became evident uh, fin finalized in 1991 but that really doesn't matter in real terms it was 1997 like the factor that is going to fall apart everybody knew that it doesn't matter in 1990, 1991 when it officially fall apart doesn't really matter I'm talking about MK Ultra terms I'm talking about the terms for which everybody knew is going to happen just like they went in the bed with the Russians with the Serbs against me that's how they went in the bed with the countries where they have colonial presence for hundreds of years throughout Africa, throughout Asia throughout uh, South America and so on and the next thing you see is I was the one who had to pay 
through the suffering and through the pain to the British royals obviously for being alive for not failing grammar school for not failing for the mechanic for the mechanical technical engineering to getting through the military obviously for being alive to continue to pursue my life obviously I don't know what the other reason that would be and those whom they had brutalized colonized through the centuries for the slavery that's what they give empowerment to the people in Africa and in Asia and in South America now go ahead and fucking kill the shit out of him kill the motherfucker you see he was the one and they got these people in my face yeah he was there yeah we know him yeah he was he uh, yeah he could he could do this he's he's big enough he could do it yeah we recognize it he's legitimate <laughs> eh? and I was paying for it all and so this was the man from London who determined actually he dared he dared he had a guts actually to come up with the idea that he's gonna determine how and how am I going to be killed or which system is going to be more efficient this this paragraph we are talking about this fucking paragraph here this stuff here see this schizophrenia alone doesn't kill you is what Capshalon laughed but that other thing that other thing that he wouldn't want to name what it is. He never ever responded to my question about what is that other thing. But the other thing is, when you're labeled as a violent, paranoid schizophrenic, the violent, that's actually when they throw you inside of the asylum, and as you know, you pretty much, I don't know, stuff that I have seen at the French Cadillac hospital was not very nice that did not look to them good French had a obviously a reason to put me inside of the Cadillac psychiatric hospital why would they deliver me to all these psychiatric hospitals why would they deliver me into the prison into the prisons Why was a psychiatrist Peter Kapsch who involved so many people in physical violence against me continue to ask me hmm. foremost in Slovenia but also other locations especially he made himself famous with this in Poland and he made him so big with this in Slovakia and he made him so big with this in Czech Republic and in Serbia is where he was also big with this stuff if I can take down this guy and if I can take down that guy and then we're gonna see when the time comes and this and that you get the idea about who was creating a meetings with the death and how the police wanted to prove this case what exactly they hoped for they would establish eh? see this is why this video this is why this guy is a dunk this is not a human being because there ain't nothing human about this shit there's nothing human about him it's even less human about Prince William or Prince Harry and it's going to be even less human in Prince George it's going to be even less human in others that are younger because with every generation they're more and more rotten this was probably the most rotten the filthiest case probably of them all by far filthier with a Prince Andrew than Queen the so called Queenie the Queenie Elizabeth and her husband <coughs> Philip and as much as I consider this garbage here as my allies as my friends even as my family I don't know what the fuck they flatter me with I don't think that we would have seen bigger trash than this. 
shine your fucking psychiatric pills. 15,000 every year you murder across the Britain is you, what your British newspapers say about it. I am skeptical about it. And I'm angry that you have not taken steps against this degree of violence. As a matter of fact, that you embraced a psychiatric murder to this degree of violence. That you love one so much that you just embraced one so much. I guess the sad clownery comes to an end and I'll keep you updated if they're going to bring the if they're going to break totally the ankle of my mother as they have stated they would if it's going to be necessary to prove this stuff. <laughs>